What is going on, fellow fish tank fanatics? This isn't going to be a normal video. Um, it's actually more of like a question answer sort of thing. I have been having some major issues with blackbeard algae, also known as BBA, in almost all of my tanks. Now, the only connection between all the tanks is eco complete. I have no idea why I'm, why I'm experiencing this issue. Um, it just seems like any tank that I have eco complete in, I also get blackbeard algae. I have been trying to eradicate it with uh, spraying H2O2 on it, um, killing my filters and doing spot treatments of H2O2, double dosings of Excel, um, running high levels of CO2. I cannot get this crap to just go away. Um, I just did a water change on the 20 long, so it's a little shaken up and there's some stuff floating around. But it's, I mean, I, I saw it and I didn't think, you know, it was that bad. It's, it's on some of the, the driftwood through here. So you can kind of see some of the tufts right through there. Um, so I lowered this all down and I, uh, I sprayed it. I have some other weird type of algae that's growing right in the center. I, I have no idea what it is. It's really stringy. It's, I'll have to look it up. I really don't know what kind of algae that is. Um, so, what I did today, anyway, is I lowered the water down. I probably did a 75% water change on this tank. Um, cut out as much BBA as possible. So, most of this Java moss I did not want here anyway. Um, I ripped a lot of it out. And I sprayed it with H2O2. So, I sprayed each of these branches. I sprayed all of this through here. Um, I was getting BBA on a lot of my plant leaves. I cut those entire plant leaves out. Um, obviously, you do not want to mess with the tufts of BBA because it can cause um, the spores to be released and it spread even quicker in the tank. So I was being very careful not to do that. It just, I, I really don't know what the connection is and I don't know how to eradicate the tank of BBA. Um, this tank will be getting tore down soon and moved to a different, um, actually it'll be in the same spot, just on a new stand. And I don't know when I move it, I figured I'll pull all my plants out. I will do a potassium permanganate dip, um, maybe, possibly a bleach dip. I doubt I do a bleach dip. I feel like that's really, really invasive to the plant especially with them being crips uh, it kinda scares me a little bit but I may end up doing that look at that they're getting ready to breed again but I, I really don't know I mean I mean I've been staying up to date on water changes I've got good flow I've got the CO2 bumping in here I mean it's I don't know what it's coming out as but I mean I've got a lot of stuff like that, but I cannot get the BBA to just go away. So, um, if anybody has any ideas on what I could do different, or why an inert substrate like EcoComplete is causing blackbeard algae, um, my tanks like my 15 rimless that I'm running sand in, my fluval that is has the the shrimp stratum, I'm not a big fan of that. But neither of those tanks have it, and those are both planted. And to be honest, the 15 rimless, it's heavily planted and it's getting big doses of CO2 and I still have yet to have BBA in that tank, ever. So I, I really don't know what it is. I mean, I sterilize my equipment in between each use. So if I'm going in between tanks, I do, I do dips. Um, I soak my, ta my, my nets, my, my utensils, my scissors, my, my tweezers, things like that. I soak them about once a week in a bleach water solution, I let them then air dry, you know, all of that sort of stuff. So I don't know what could be causing this. So if anybody has any ideas, um, or maybe some links to some other videos or other people that are experiencing the same issue, let me know. I mean, I, I really am stumped as to why the EcoComplete and the BBA kind of go hand in hand in, in my situation.
when I run all my tanks practically the exact same, same lighting schedules, everything. But this tank here has BBA, where the 15 rimless has no BBA. And they both get fed the same, you know, they, they, I, I really, I have no idea. So if anybody has any ideas, let me know. Do the party. There's the lady, she's ready to breed too. Um, yeah, I mean, is there anything else that I can do to try to prevent the BBA? Is there anything else I can add to try to eat the BBA? Um, obviously adding things with running H2O2 and and high doses of Excel probably isn't a good thing. Or what is causing it? Do I have a lack of, of, of a nutrient in some way? Am I lacking, you know, iron, potassium? What am I missing that is causing the BBA to be formed in my eco-complete tanks? I mean, I've got no problem adding something or completely admitting that I have no idea how to defeat this stupid, nasty algae and... I mean, it's, it's in every single one of my tanks that I have eco-complete in. If it doesn't have eco-complete, I don't have it. So, there's a link somewhere, and, and I don't know what it is. So, if you all can help me out, please, 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 uh, let me know. Leave it, in, leave it in the comments. Just let me know. Even if it's links to other people maybe experiencing the same thing, maybe they've got some more insight than, than I have. I've been searching around on forums, and of course everybody... Oh, well, you just have an imbalance. An, an imbalance in what, though? I mean, I'm bumping CO2. I know raising your CO2 levels, but I get scared to raise it too high. I don't want to gas this pair. I mean, I, I don't know. Other than spot treating, I, I really don't know what else I can do. But let me know. Other than that, the 20 long is just doing what it does. The Pogo Stamon Hellfry, I mean, that thing is huge in the back. So, assistance needed, guys. BBA and EcoComplete, what's, what's the link? What am I missing? That's all I got, guys. Make it a fish-tastic day.